Hey campers, welcome to day four. I'm so glad you're here. Hold on. Oops, hold on. We need to do our bugle, right? Uh-oh, I lost it. Shoot. Good morning. This is our day four program. And um, I hope you're having a great time at camp. How was your morning routine this morning? And if you haven't done it yet, you still can do it. So um, reminding you of these kinds of daily practices that support your goals. So, so far, what have we done on our camp journey? We started with our intention, creating our intention. So right now, tuning into what was it that I was asking for? What was it that I was saying, I'm having that? And bring that into your awareness. I'm having that, no doubt about that. And um, then our, our next day, what did we do the next day? Oh my gosh, I'm already forgetting. The next day, day one. Oh my goodness. Day one. What did we do? Who's going to post in the comments what we did day one? Remind me of what we did day one. Um, and then uh, from day one, we went to day two where we went to the craft shop and we tuned in to our love. Pad. Oh, day one, we created our love landing pad. Day one, we created the space within our being to actually have room so that we could have what it is we wanted. And then day two, we tuned into what it feels like. We tuned into the energy, those warm and fuzzy vibes so we could connect into it. So that way that not only were we connecting into those warm and fuzzy vibes, we were connecting into, we were aware of our connection to what it is we were creating. So when you're already aware of the connection of what you're creating, then you're already living with it in the present moment. So you're sensing and perceiving those warm and fuzzy vibes and you have your warm and fuzzy. Hopefully you got to make your own warm and fuzzy at home. And then when you have that, then um, that just helps you identify it when it shows up. And then day three was our campfire. So our day three yesterday we got to begin to really look at ourselves and look at all of the places we're saying, I can't have love because, I can't have love because, and we gave those to the sacred campfire so that it can transform. And today we are starting out actually at the beach again. So we're back at the waterfront, at the beach, and we're going to take a canoe ride. So, um, but as we sit on the beach, so right now, join me on the beach. And you can close your eyes and arrive on the beach. And as you look towards the horizon, you're not going to be able to see it. But past that horizon is your your creation, that which you desire, your love story, your beloved, your future partner is somewhere beyond that horizon there. So as you look out there, um, notice that there's not something you can see. And, and this is important to kind of recognize because um, when you are creating something that is beyond anything you've ever created before. So when you're asking for something like that, your mind cannot picture it necessarily. You may have some, some ideas, some fantasies, some of that. 
but when you're actually creating something greater than you've ever had before, please know that you can't look to your mind. And what most people do is they try to think their way through a lot of this stuff. And there's, there's nothing you can use your mind for when you're creating a beyond this reality experience, what I like to call in my coaching as unicorn love, because it's the kind of love you've never thought could exist, but it does. So um, for those of you who are feeling like you're in your head a lot, today's the day we practice getting out of our head. Um, so whatever you are creating can come from the space of infinite possibilities. And um, so just being aware of, of that means that today on our canoe ride, we're going to uh, experience some of the things that can come up that are mind things. So um, the key here is that when you are asking for something great, especially, especially things that involve matters of the heart, there are things like matters of the heart, things that, you know, are kind of the spiritual journey. The, there are things related to our body, like when we're wanting to change our body, that a lot, a lot, a lot of resistance will come up. So how many of you have been wanting a love relationship for a while and it's not happening? or you're scared to take a step, or maybe you're kind of dating, but maybe you're even aware of some pain from the past or inner wounds, or maybe even something that occurred um, in childhood, or just knowing that you haven't had great role models for relationship. All of this stuff becomes um, powerful, static, and uh, heaviness that can hold us back if we're not willing to do something different. So as you're looking over there, so right now, tuning in to that space beyond the horizon right now, where your um, creation is, we're going to go ahead and get in our canoes. And as you get in your canoe, um, just, just jump on in, grab a, a paddle, and we're gonna try, we're gonna get try to get in the waves. The waves are kind of rough right now. So so you're gonna need to kind of um, manipulate your canoe over the waves and then jump in. So let's everyone get in your canoe right now as best you can. It may be a little bit tricky and your mind may be going, oh no, it's too rough out there. No. So this is when you use your own inner power. You use your faith. So your faith. So faith is that that sense of um, choosing your heart's desire over any need to have proof that it is there, to have proof that it can show up. And it's choosing that over and over again. It's like being at the bottom of a dark stairway and taking a step even though you can't actually see the next step. So this is what we're doing today. We're getting in. So now you're in your canoe. It's a little rocky, but with each pedal, a paddle, like stroke, you're going to begin to sense things that come up for you. So sometimes when, and just begin to paddle and maybe feel kind of hard, there are a lot of waves, 
But as you are here, there may be things that come up for you. Oh, some of these things may, came, may have come up yesterday. But things like, oh, well, I don't, I don't know how to open up in a relationship. I don't know how to um, create healthy boundaries. Well, as you do that, just notice in your um, canoe, there are things that you can pick up. So as we move through, I'm just going to start sharing with you all of the ways that we can create from the space of learning. This is about learning. This is each stroke is learning how to be in relationship. Each stroke is learning how to identify those inner critics. Each stroke is about getting the support and the systems needed so that you know how to date in a way that is going to actually work for you. How many of you struggle with just the technology of, of online dating or writing a profile? These are the things um, that are, are choices that you can make. So I see I'm paddling so hard and it doesn't seem like I'm getting anywhere. Yes, exactly. So just keep paddling, even though it looks the same. I mean, we're, we are actually moving forward and it's about really affirming your greater goal. So as you're here and you're paddling and it may not seem like you're going anywhere, just continue to choose. Continue to choose your your intention. Choose that heart's desire. So if you're paddling and it seems like you're not going anywhere, go ahead and energetically, consciously go, I am having that. So using that, I am having that, no doubt about that. So this doesn't mean that you're not going to choose other things. So right now, if you want, you can even put on your, your life jacket. Get the life jacket. We should have put it on in the beginning. Putting on your life jacket and your life jacket here. This is a life jacket that is going to support you. So what are those systems you can have in place? What are those classes? What, what coaching can maybe we do together to do that inner work? So pick up your paddle again and start paddling. And continue to remind yourself you are the source look at you are the energy that is going to move this forward you are the energy that's moving this forward so right now we're going to add in a mantra we're going to add in a mantra that is affirming our power so follow along with this mantra with each stroke the first one is the me within me is the is worthy. The me within me is worthy. The me within me is worthy. So we've been practicing this. This means that you are worthy of moving forward. You're worthy of investing the time and energy into doing what it takes. The me within me is worthy. The me within me is worthy. And then the next part of this mantra is the me within me is the reality. The me within me is the reality. So how many, so as we've affirmed our desire is our destiny, that is what we want to act on, right? So the me within me is the reality means that our point of view creates our reality. So whatever it is that we believe within is what we're creating. So the me within me is the reality. The me within me, this is the next part, the me within me is the grace. And that is being able to... Um, be in flow of the energy. 
The me within me is the grace, being able to be in flow and be inspired by those things that aren't the inner critics, those things that are light. So the me within me is the grace. If it is exciting for you to think about sharing your life with someone, that's what you choose. That's what you move forward to. And choosing those things isn't always comfortable. Like we're, we're paddling, we're paddling quite hard right now, but the me within me and the grace is being able to follow the truth. The truth will not be those spaces of just hoping and wishing and falling for the inner critics who are saying you're not good enough. These, this is being able to take action and take responsibility for learning and growing and getting the tools needed and the systems in place so that you are able to actually receive what it is you desire. So, so let's start from the beginning. The me within me is worthy. The me within me is the reality. The me within me is the grace. I am the master of this space. I am the master of this space. I am the master of this space. So this last line is all about choosing for your creation. So this is when you stop the waiting on the couch and dreaming and just hoping someone shows up to actually going, I'm going to learn how to date. I'm going to learn how to, um, to put myself out there. I am going to address these inner wounds. I am going to do the healing and um, get the inner world so that my outer world matches that. So let's begin at the top. The me within me is worthy. The me within me is the reality. The me within me is the grace. I am the master of this space. Me within me is worthy. The me within me is the reality. The me within me is the grace. I am the master of the space. The me within me is worthy. The me within me is the reality. The me within me is the grace. I am the master of the space. So notice how it feels so good to have a mantra, to have the support, to have this, this life vest that is the system and the tools that gives you the advantage. This is really what happens when people actually get the support. And that's why I have created the super love system so that people can actually have a plan. And let me tell you, this relationship stuff is a rock, does have rocky waters. And it has some, some gators and it has some you know, storms that come up. Why? Because this is one of the most sacred things we can have as a human. And it is, requires vulnerability. It requires really being able, to, really looking at ourselves and getting real with, you know, how we're projecting out into the world. So this mantra is about taking back your power and being the conscious creator, this deliberate creator, and not just winging it anymore, that this is the power. So let's do it again. The me within me is worthy. The me within me is reality. The me within me is the grace. I am the master of the space. And look, it kind of seems like we're not even getting anywhere. We still see the horizon, but what I can tell you is that this in incremental things, before you know it, before you know it, before you know it, boom! Look at, we're here. Look at this island. Look at this. Sense and perceive the energy of us being on shore where you have arrived, where you have arrived at this place 
and you get to acknowledge. And right now, you don't even need to have the pictures, but close your eyes right now and begin to sense and perceive how good it feels to know that you made choices to get here, that you made some choices that were uncomfortable, that were, were a little bit of a stretch, maybe required investment, maybe required time, maybe required actually facing some challenging things in your world. But you, in choosing that, you created a different reality. So even sense and perceive a little bit of a surprise. Sense and perceive a surprise of, wow, this kind of wasn't what I expected here. And it is, be, it is beyond my imagination amazing. So noticing what that feels like. And so I am here to invite you to consider what it is. The me within me is worthy. The me within me is a reality. So your inner world is creating your reality. Do you like what you see in your life today? Is, is there something you want to see that would be different next year at this time? If so, I recommend we have a conversation. The me within me is the grace. So the grace is that connection to divine, that connection to really listening to those desires, but also being willing to move beyond the mind in the space of, wow, you know what? I am choosing something greater. And then I am the master of this, of this space. You are the only one who can choose that for you. You are the one who can be the, the, the choice for something greater. So if you didn't see my post yesterday, I am opening up spots to talk to five people next week around about super loved and this is a program that is going through my super love system. This is, this is a one-on-one -on -one coaching that means that you're getting my seven-step like personalized plan to go from single to committed love. This is using a process called Regenerating Images and Memory where we go into the inner world one-on-one -on -one and we get to the source of any of those things that are creating a reality that isn't working for you. And then we transform it so it is aligned with your greatest desires. And that process is a really powerful process. And then we also look at, okay, how do you date? How do you create boundaries? How do you communicate? What are those things that you're projecting out that you are unaware that aren't actually matching what it is you want? So I encourage you to message me to get one of those spots. They're going to go fast and then we'll set up a time to chat next week. So today's journey is really being able to know that when you are saying you want something greater, inevitably this is like this is science of our body and our mind as soon as you ask for something that is that is a beyond this reality thing and in a matter of the heart then these things are going to pop up so you know even when you're feeling like amazing about love camp i can I can pretty much guarantee that unless you actually put something in place that is a support system to change your future, that most people are just going to go back to where they were and nothing will change. So what is it that you can do? Let's have a conversation so that you can have that next steps, the next steps, the clarity, the systems in place and make this your actual reality. So let's close 
with three rounds of our mantra, the me within me is worthy. The me within me is the reality. The me within me is the grace. I am the master of the space. The me within me is worthy. The me within me is the reality. The me within me is the grace. I am the master of the space. The me within me is worthy. The me within me is the reality. The me within me is the grace. I am the master of the space. Awesome. All right. See you later today at announcements and have an amazing day at camp. Bye, everyone.